Anyway, this will give a baby of this question, given that 3 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of x minus 1 equal to 18, find x to the power of x. Let's get into it right away. The 3 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of x minus 1 is equal to 18. This 3 to the power of x minus 1, I can split it all to 3 to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of negative 1. Okay, then this one, and let me write it 3 to the power of x minus then equal to 18. And what I apply here is the law. If, for example, if I have a to the power of x multiplied by a to the power of minus y, you know that that is a to the power of x plus brackets negative y. And we know that plus times minus is minus, which is a to the power of x minus y. So our question is like this. I turn it to something like this. That is exactly what I did here. Now we know that a to the power of negative n is 1 over a to the power of n. So I'm going to apply it here now so that my equation becomes 3 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of x times 1 over 3 equal to 18. Let's replace this 3 to the power of x with something. Let me use letter p. Let me be 3 to the power of x. In other words, anywhere I say 3 to the power of x, I'm going to replace it with p. But this equation now becomes p minus p times 1 over 3 equal to 18, which is p minus p over 3 equal to 18, since p times 1 is p. Now, solving this fraction here, this is over 1. So this is the 3p minus p over 3 equal to 18. Now, 3p minus p is 2p. So 2p over 3 equal to 18. Cross multiply, 2p is equal to 3 times 18. And 2p, therefore, is equal to 3 times 18. 3 times 18 is 4. Then, uh, that is 24, carry to 3 times 1, 3, 3 plus 2. That is 54. Dividing both sides by 2. 2 here, 1. P is 54 divided by 2 is 27. So if P is 27, uh, but you say P is equal to 3 to the power of X here. Yeah? to the power of x from the beginning. Therefore, 3 to the power of x is equal to 27. Then 3 to the power of x, expressing 27 in index form is 3 to the power of 3. So the bases are the same, that we quit the powers. Therefore, x is equal to 3. But it's not x they ask us to find. He asks us to find x to the power of x. So if x is 3, what will be x to the power of x? x to the power of x, sorry, will be 3 to the power of 3. And 3 to the power of 3, that is 3 times 3, 9. And 9 times 3, 27. So x is 27. That is what I have for you in this video. I hope you found it useful. If you do, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell so you get notified when I release a new video like this. Thank you.